Jason Kidd picking up Hamilton in the backcourt. Hamilton getting by, feeding Ben Wallace. Phillips. And now single coverage on Ben Wallace going up. And well played. Ben Wallace, who at times has been an offensive factor in the series, ties it at four. And that's a good sign for New Jersey. Kenyon Martin getting going early, gets him involved in the game, and makes him, makes him do all the other things. And the, the other question on offense is Tayshawn Prince, who was also one of the three players we were talking about, and he has not been affected. Here is the drive to the basket, and Ben Wallace, so three of the starting five already in the scoring column. Detroit hasn't missed its four attempts from the field. Oh, it's something. Yeah, it's you didn't help him on that chair drop. No, that, that was all great. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. Double team Wallace from Hamilton, who has eight assists. So the point guard right now seems to be Rip Hamilton, John. Well, that's extremely important that you get that percentage basis because then you don't ignite that fast break that in this. That's what Larry wants him to get. Just Wallace kind of used his hand on Collins' shoulder that time to try to gain an advantage for that rebound. Big Ben's lucky he didn't get a technical there. He uh, <laughs> very demonstrative. Inside, and Martin has stopped him. That was Rashid Wallace. That was smothered chicken right there. And there is Woo! Wallace. Woo! And the lob will bring out the fans. Ben Wallace now with eight points in the game. And the Nets up again by one. Collins and Wallace feeding Rip Hamilton. Then Wallace with the assist. The Jefferson certainly is having an impact since he came in yes. because he's attacking the glass very much. So. And that's what he did when he scored 30 in game three. Great feed, Hamilton to Ben Wallace. Rip Hamilton is having a great game with 10 assists, 11 points, a double-double for the Ripper. And that's one of their go-to plays. I believe they call that elbow two. And that's to get Rip Hamilton on the back screen and then get him coming off to where he can shoot the ball and make a play just like that. And Harris goes up, the shot blocked, and now the foul called, and Rashid has to walk away from the play. He is not the victim of the foul. Ben Wallace is with his third, but now that's the fourth team foul against Detroit. No, he's not the victim of the foul, but as you see here, this is the call that the defense, former defense of this year has to get going for himself. Oh. He, that, that's, uh, that's a tough call to go against a great defensive player like Ben Wallace on a midget guard. Totally agree with you. <laughs> as a person. Well, I'd like to make a play of well, I've never heard that association. No, I know you use that with your players many times <laughs> at Georgetown. At the wall. Traveling called against Jefferson. You're right. <laughs> 21st turnover by the Nets. And look where they're making them initiate their offense. Goes 30 feet from the back. And here's Martin. Playing with five fouls against Ben Wallace. Wallace with the block jump ball. That's, that's smothered chicken right there. Smothered chicken. Woo! I think Ben Wallace thought he was going to get called for a foul here for a second. But just great defense. Got Kenny Martin all the way behind the goal. 3.13 on the clock, John. I don't think Ben Wallace was the only one. This <laughs> crowd, the way they reacted, they thought he was called for a foul, too, but it was, that was a very good call. It's the heavyweight jump ball here. Third block of the game for Ben Wallace. Two very quick jumping guys. Tip controlled by Phillips. Phillips, foul. And hit in the face was Chauncey Phillips. And Mike Aguinaldo, the trainer, will go over to 10 to the point guard who is bending over with a hand in the face. Tied at 90. And I just got to say, Danny Avery out there watching, he's an ISTP brain type. <laughs> and here is Scalabrini fouling Ben Wallace who makes the basket. And a chance to open up a three-point lead in the first minute of overtime. And like you said, coach. They give up so much defensive interior presence with, with Collins out and with Aaron Williams out. They give up a lot of length. Well, see, and they're smart enough, the Pistons are smart enough to exploit the fact that he's not going to be able to guard him on the inside the way a Williams could or the way a Martin could. This move going to Jason in the post. Jefferson, foul. And a chance to give the Nets 
to open up a five-point lead, but this was the tiebreaker at this point. Scalabrini with to Jason, and, and who's guarding Richard Hamilton? Tayshawn Prince has got to close out a little bit better on Tayshawn and get a hand in his face. Ben Wallace is fouled out of the game. So the plot thickens now as Wallace fouls out with 16 points, 11 rebounds, and replaced by Corliss Williamson. So the uh, Pistons go a bit small right now, but they know that some of the big people on the Nets have fouled out. There they see Rasheed Wallace with five fouls.